Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to a uh, a very special curb log. Uh, first of all, very <laughs> sorry for the um, we'll say unorthodox content as of uh, the last couple weeks. Um, these sort of unusual curb logs, in that a couple of them have been live action, and uh, one of them was the quietest curb log in existence. Going from that to the loudest one in existence, with with me hanging out with Antfish and everybody in New York City. But anyway, um, so it is uh, it is the day before Thanksgiving <laughs> that I'm recording this, and um, this will be going up on Saturday, the 29th, I believe. Uh, so still not quite done with uh, with November yet, but this will be the last one for November. And tomorrow, uh, rather, rather rather on Thanksgiving Day itself, on the 27th, will mark the one year anniversary of Kerblog. Hard to believe <laughs> that it's it's already been this long, um, but uh, I'm I'm really proud of of how this stuff has uh, has relatively taken off. I mean, I uh, I I can't <laughs> entirely remember, but I think I had something like maybe about fifteen thousand subscribers at the time, which is like nothing in the long run. And then you know since then I've I've boosted up to uh, close to seventy five k by this point, which is you know I owe all to you guys tuning in and listening and, uh, and sticking around for more. Uh, so thank you everybody, uh, for, for listening. Um, I've been, I've been kind of kicking myself because it's been a little unproductive the last couple of weeks. I've, I've barely gotten to touch, uh, the next home episode. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about, did you know voice acting? Because I, I did the, did you know gaming episode recently? Um, and uh, plugged those videos a while ago, so I, you know, I haven't updated that stuff. So really, I've just been kind of putting out a curb log wherever I can. I've been busy working on Y2K. Just finished that up early this week, and then uh, after Thanksgiving, I'm going to be going back home to Long... Oh, it's home. No, I'm sorry. I'm in Long Island uh, visiting my family for Thanksgiving, and then I'm going to be going home to California uh, on Friday, and hopefully getting my new Cintiq, and then I can jump back into working on uh, Tome Episode 13 full throttle. But... In the meantime, I wanted to do a little uh, a little celebration thing. Um, not only actually is this the first uh, full year of Curb Logs, the anniversary as of the twenty seventh, but uh, I think on the playlist this will be the one hundredth video. Uh, now that said, there were a couple that I cheated on, um, you know, that were two parts because I split them up into two videos. So it's not like you know an even one hundred Curb Logs necessarily. Uh, and the other thing was when I started, I, I used to be putting them out like once every other day. And then I was advised to, uh, you know, maybe bring it down to like, you know, Tuesdays and Saturdays instead, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, well, or rather I, I was doing other stuff on Tuesdays, but then I decided to, um, kind of, uh, circumvent having two curb logs a week, uh, once I ran out of tome episodes to do reruns of. And also once I, uh, you know, had to take a break from doing digital voice acting to focus on, uh. Uh, on doing Tome Season 2, but anyway. Um, so when I first started, uh, you know, setting out to do this whole thing, I, I remember I hadn't played the YouTube content creation game, really, aside from just uploading a couple things here and there if I felt like it, and even then, I was always trying to put more focus and emphasis on my uh, my Newgrounds page at the time, uh, but unfortunately, as, I was, as it was kind of, you know, going to the point of, well, it's... Um, you know, it's 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 not really lucrative anymore if you want to make a living doing animation uh, on the internet, which is still debatable as to if that's even possible. But uh, at least making somewhat, an, uh, you know, decent amount of money uh, doing internet content creation. And I didn't want to do Let's Plays. I didn't want to do reviews or whatever. I, I almost did a, an animation review show, which I think I've talked about at, like, panels and something. It was, it was something else I was developing around the time that uh, Tome Episode 1 came out, but... Yeah, I uh, I just thought that this would be something easy and simple and and fun and uh, you know hopefully interesting. I mean, I I imagine they're interesting enough because most of them at least get a couple thousand views. Um, but uh, I I just felt that this was you know they were really easy to produce too because literally I just record this. If I haven't explained this before, I record them, I do a little picture, I export the videos in Swivel. Thank you again, Mike Walsh of of Newgrounds, uh, and then you know boom, it's done, and it's out there and ready for you. Uh, the past couple that I did, the live-action ones, I, you know, were out of, crap, I have to get something out. I know, I have my camera. Or in the case of the Y2K behind-the-scenes one, I had, you know, Andrew's camera, who he, you know, he offered to, uh, the, the, the director of Y2K, he offered to just use his camera and upload it for me. But I digress. 
So yeah, one whole year of doing these and, uh, you know, if, if not a hundred even, but you know, close to it videos, uh, I'm going to pull up, let me get this thing. I got the list of, uh, all of them on the, on the playlist here. I'm kind of looking through, um, the, how did I get into animation and where does Kerbifer, the screen name come from? Those first two that I did are still to date some of the most, um, viewed. I imagine part of it is because the first ones you see on the playlist on my front page of my channel, uh, so there's that, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I, I guess I wanted to get some of the generic stuff out of the way first, and, you know, that stuff proved to be really interesting to people. Um, I'm gonna kind of link to some of these, uh, ones that I think are worth watching if you feel like clicking and checking some of them out if you haven't seen them, um, because there's a lot of times where people will, will comment, and they'll be like, hey, you should talk about this, and then I'll be like, I already talked about this, here's a link to it, and then they can just go watch it that way. But, uh, this might be like, consider this almost like a, like a clip show, equivalent don't 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 close the video i swear to god <laughs> um you know but uh, like 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 just i'm gonna reminisce on some of that stuff and, and think about it one thing i definitely noticed especially in the last like month or so is that whenever i talk about my um my memories of a particular anime uh you know whether it's by myself or with a with a friend or something um i uh, those seem to do pretty well. I guess that's kind of an easy cop-out. I do have a few other ones uh, down the pipe that I might do that are like, what do you think of this show, or did you grow up with this series, and what are your thoughts on it? So I've got a couple more of those planned. Maybe I'll tackle some of those in uh, in December. But um, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to, to just make it all about that, I feel like, because I don't know. I don't ever want to become, like, too self-aware of, like, you know, what it is that you want as the viewer, because then I feel like I'm pandering too much, and I'm sure you don't want me to do that either. You'd probably rather me talk about whatever I feel like talking about. Uh, but, that said, on uh, on another hand, uh, one of my favorite things to go over, and as it's shown from uh, the view count and, and certain ones, uh, anytime I ever get to give advice... Um, there was a recent one. It was the one about your, your art style. That's an example. And there were a, a few other ones. Um, the, the dangers of one's art style. Sorry, I'm looking through the thing here. Um, yeah, I, uh, anytime I get to do something like that, uh, and, and people really like it, that means a lot to me because I don't know. I always feel like, I, I think I've, I'm sure I've said this before too, but I, I'm no, like, authority on an, on any of the stuff that I do. I'm not an authority on animation or art or writing or production or voiceover or anything. Uh, I just have my own experiences, and whenever I'm asked for advice, I give my own take on what I did. I never try to frame it like, this is what you should do, because I totally know what I'm talking about. I'm, like, I'm 25. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, there are people far, far more uh, experienced and, uh, and knowledgeable on all of the creative things that I try to do. Um, but because people watch this stuff and they care about it and it's meaningful to them, uh, you know, I just try to point them in the right direction. Sometimes, if anything, I point them towards, here's what you should look up, kind of uh, point them in the right direction, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. I know that it's funny. There's there's a few that I've been wanting to do for a long time that I've been kind of sitting on the uh, the ideas of. Um, one that I think I teased, like, all the way back in my, uh, Sonic Stories one, was I wanted to do a curb blog about, um, Sonic Adventure 1 versus Sonic Adventure 2, which I just talked to Andrew of the Y2K, uh, development crew about my opinions regarding that, uh, which is kind of funny. Um, I still do want to do that. Maybe I will finally do that in December, since it's, it's literally been almost a whole year. Um, but it's not been super high priority. I, I much prefer to, to, uh talk about the stuff that's submitted from from listeners i say that as i'm recording one that was not submitted by a listener question i haven't done that in, a, in like a few weeks because i just haven't been able to I haven't had access to those questions uh the screenshots that i took of them but uh yeah i have a lot more of those and, and also that's the other thing too kind of going to that uh anytime that i get uh personally um you know like like questions from people that are cool and interesting um you know and and i and i have never any issue uh giving a shout out and, and showing a screen cap of the comment like wherever i got it on whether it's on the youtube comments or the the their twitter or facebook or what tumblr or whatever <laughs> um anytime i uh i get to answer a question and, and you know if they comment later and like hey thanks for doing that that was really cool and i really got something out of that that also means a lot to me in the same vein of like when I do one of the general advice ones and people take away something from it. That's really cool because it it's not – I don't do these just to make a paycheck. Like, yes, obviously I make money from these, but that's not my, like, 
that's not my reason for making these exist. It's because I want to give something back on a more frequent basis to the people that give a shit about the stuff that I do. So a few I'd also recommend are Let's Talk About Samus, Do Cartoons Make Us Racially Sensitive, and The Internet, Privacy, Freedom of Speech. Um, I don't often like to talk about controversial stuff on this because, you know, okay, so like, for instance, at the time I'm recording this, the Ferguson stuff is occurring, as, you know, evidenced by I was walking through New York and there were protests happening in the streets of 42nd. Um, but, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But the point is, that's, that is my point is like, I don't often like to speak about those kind of things because I feel like it's kind of, and, and you know, other YouTube celebrities and I just byproductly call myself a YouTube celebrity. Ew, gross. Other people on the internet who have followings of any kind, uh, especially sometimes ones who, you know, are, aren't always so forgiving, um, probably know what I'm referring to right here. They can't speak about any of this stuff without just being completely attacked and, and, you know, nailed down really hard by everybody. So I like to play it safe. And, and, and also because again, I don't have any sort of authoritative opinion. I usually just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Um, so that said, I, uh, I, I don't like to talk about controversial stuff very often, but, uh, the Samus one, I'm actually really proud of. I think that that one turned out really well. I think that the point that I had was pretty okay. in in you know, in retrospect, um, a lot of people seem to agree where I was coming from or other people on the other side of the fence saw where I was coming from and, and, you know, saw the value in it without it turning into an argument. Um, the cartoons making us racially sensitive one was something I had been thinking about for a long time and never put into an idea until then. And I thought, oh, this could be cool. And I you know, chose to do that. And then uh, the uh, privacy and, spe and freedom of speech one on the internet, um, that, that one I think is, is still poignant at, at all times because it's, um, you know, a lot of stuff I, I think probably has changed since I made that one like earlier in the year. But I think a lot of it still like applies to, um, you know, what, uh, what we're going through now. In fact, if anything, it, it, it even ties in uh, pretty well with uh, another controversial thing I won't name that happened uh, earlier this summer around the time that I moved. I think that the, uh, you know, being aware of what you do on the Internet and knowing that it'll be there forever, uh, you know, somewhere, I think, is a lesson that uh, has been very much learned by a lot of different people, <laughs> um, myself included, which is why I think the reason that I, that I did that one in the first place. But, um, yeah, so those are a few. And then, you know, otherwise, I, like, I don't like to get too serious on these, but for the most part, I try to keep them pretty, you know, fun and lighthearted and, and talk about, you know, stuff that I'm interested in or stuff that I'm passionate about and stuff that might benefit others. <laughs> not, to, not to say that the, the, the talks about some controversial stuff, you know, may not be, uh, you know, beneficial in some way, but I just like to, I like to keep these positive because, I don't know, there's so much, like, negativity on, on the internet and even arguably, like, in the world in general, uh, and not to be too heavy about that or whatever, but just, you know what I mean. I try to keep these, like, upbeat and fun and, and interesting and in, in that sort of way. And uh, I don't know. I, I Again, they seem like they're, they're doing pretty okay, and uh, I don't have any plans on stopping them. I have, you know, a jillion ideas of, of other ones to do. So, uh, you know, if you keep them coming then uh, I'll keep making them, you know, in between everything else. Unless I get, like, a studio job and I'm, and I'm just so incredibly busy and I can't do anything else um, but focus on that, which, you know, part of me kind of wants that to happen so I could, you know, accomplish the point of me going out to California in the first place, um, I say, as I'm visiting home. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, I, I, I really enjoy doing these. I'm, I'm just, I always feel really satisfied to get, like, some constant content out on a frequent basis like this. So, uh, you know... I guess just thanks for listening and thanks for watching. And, you know, if you're watching these this picture on its own <laughs> or if you're listening to these while you're working or doing something, I don't know. But either way, thank you so much. And I guess that's going to do it for this. You know, just kind of a simple one. But things will be back to normal um, with work and with Curb Logs, et cetera, um, you know, once December kicks off. My favorite month of the year. Yay. So uh, in the meantime, yeah, if you have, I'll probably be tackling some uh, some ones that I have in the backlog. But if, if you have ideas for future curb law topics uh, uh please feel free to leave uh any ideas in the comments below or you can hit me up on twitter facebook tumblr uh whatever you feel like and um i will i, I you may inspire the idea for the next episode coming out who knows 
But uh, that'll do it. Again, thank you, and I will uh, I will catch you guys later. Hope everybody had, because I'm, I'm doing this in the future, hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving, if you celebrate it, and uh, happy December soon. Now, two days from now, as of posting this, welcome to the world of tomorrow!